This is Alberta Hemsley of Withrow International High School in Cincinnati, Ohio. Today we're going to be looking to find the volume of a penny. We know that volume is equal to height times the area of a surface. Surface could be length times width. But in this case, we're going to be looking at a penny, so we're going to be looking at the area of a circle. We will first look for height. In this case, the height is going to be the thickness of the penny. Now, this is not going to be a very big thickness, and I sometimes find it helpful to lay out pieces of paper to help me make sure that I know where zero is and to find that crucial difference um, between the last two millimeter lines. Here it looks like one paper is on a zero line and the other paper is between the 0.1 and the 0.2 millimeter lines. So it's going to be somewhere between 0 0.10 and 0 0.12. We're going to call it 0 0.12. So now we have part of our equation. We know that the height is 0.12. Now we need to find the radius. The radius is going to be 1 half of the diameter. There we go. 1 half of the diameter squared. So here we need to find the diameter. Remember that we need to read this value to two decimal places because it's a ruler. In this case, it looks like the value is between 1.9 and 2.0. We're going to call this value 1.92. 1.92 is the diameter, but we need to find the radius. Let's do that. 192 divided by 2 is going to be equal to 0.96. Let's remember what this 0.96 is. We had found the diameter, and now we found the radius with a 0.96, and now we have to square the radius. 0.96 times 0.96 is going to be 0.9216 centimeters squared. That brings us back to pi. Let's find pi on the calculator. The calculator that we will use has two special buttons. The two buttons are the INV green button and the pi above the EXP button. Find the INV button we're going to press that, and then we're going to go to the EXP button and press that. And our calculator comes up with a very long decimal for pi. This is the value we will use. The long decimal for pi times our radius squared 0.9216. So our pi r squared value is 2.89 with a whole lot of decimals. Let's look at those decimals. We have to remember that we only want two decimals there. So we look to the 0.895, the third decimal there, and we're going to round up from there to get two decimals. Two decimals is going to be 2.90, 2.90 centimeters squared. Does that make any sense? On the left here, we have the tops of three one centimeter cubes. The tops have an area of 3.00 centimeters squared. We've calculated the surface area of the penny to be 2.90 centimeters squared. The surface area of the penny seems to be just a little bit less than 3.00 centimeters squared.
Now we go back to the equation we need to finish. We found the height of the penny to be 0.12 centimeters, and we found the area to be 2.90 centimeters squared. 0.12 times 2.90 is 0.348, but we want only two decimals, so we need to round. We need to round because we started with a value of 0.12 centimeters. That was the height of the penny. So we look to the 8, the third decimal place, and we're going to round up. We're going to round up because that third decimal place is greater than 5. So our answer is going to be 0 0.35. 0 0.35 centimeters cubed. Does this answer seem to make sense? 0.35 is about one-third of one centimeter cubed, and that seems about right. Well, if one penny is a third of a centimeter cubed, then three pennies ought to be just a little more than one centimeter cubed, and that seems to make sense. So there we are. We found the volume of a penny to be about 0.35 centimeters cubed, and that seems about right. Enjoy!